many things, so many questions will be there to answer all those questions. Today we have with us, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Tiwari ma'am. She is a uh, faculty here in pharmacy. She is going to give us the overall information about what is this innovation, how we can start this cell. So what are the benefit of this cell? Everything she is going to explain to you. Make best use of that. You interact with her. If you have any questions, you can ask with her. Now I'll ask Pratibha ma'am, formally welcome and introduce the resource persons of today's activity. Namaste, by offering deep sense of gratitude to seven dedicated Saptarishis of Kaili Society, I would like to begin uh, to welcome today's gathering. I would like to welcome Mrs. Tiwari, Priyanka Tiwari uh, to this August gathering. I request uh, our uh, doctor, our Honorable Principal Dr. Arun Kumar B. Sonapanavar sir to welcome cordially with uh, token of appreciation from on behalf of Kaili Society at Ningapa College to Priyanka Mahi. Thank you, sir. It's my great pleasure to introduce today's uh, uh, guest speaker, Mrs. Priyanka Tiwari. Priyanka Tiwari working as assistant professor and uh, innovation ambassador in the department of uh, pharmaceutical chemistry at Kaley College of Pharmacy, Bengaluru. Mrs. Tiwari is working in academics since 2019. Mrs. Tiwari has done her schooling from Kendriya Vidyalaya, Goa, B Pharma and M Pharma in pharmaceutical chemistry from Goa University. She was titled as Adarsh Vidyatini in her school days and Mrs. Priyanka Tiwari has ranked first in all academic years of bachelors and masters. And she is a gold medalist at Goa University and received the gold medal from Honorable Sri Venkataya Naidu, Vice President of India and Honorable Sri Pramod Savan. Can we have a big round of applause for her? Minister of Goa, Mrs. Tiwari had also received Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India gold medal and received prize from Indian Pharmaceutical Association. She has also qualified in Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test, that is GPAT entrance exam. Uh, Ms. Tiwari had received letter of appreciation from Sri Narendra Modi ji. Honorable Prime Minister of India and Sri uh, Kapil uh, Sibal, Honorable, Honorable Minister of Human Resource Development, Communications and Information uh, Technology Government of India. Can we have a big round of applause? Mr. Tiwari has also very good and diverse records in co-curricular and won a painting, mime competitions, fashion show and stand-up comedy, mimicry, uh, poetry, etc. Ms. Tiwari has two research papers published in national journals and three research papers in international journals and communicated. Ms. Tiwari has diverse interest of seven knowledge in synthetic chemistry, organic chemistry, antical chemistry and computer aided drug design. Ms. Tiwari has attended and organized, conducted number of programs like orientation, FDP, conferences, field visits, workshops, mentoring, guest talks, intra-college competitions, and many more. And here we have with us Ms. Priyanka Tiwari to present her talk on Institutions Innovation uh, Council, uh, CEL, right? May I have a big round of applause for her. And with this, I would like to conclude and invite Ms. Priyanka Tiwari for presentation. Before that, uh, as uh, our uh, Honorable Principal Sir, busy with so many schedules and placement uh, drive is also going on. So Sir is going to address you all for a while. After that, uh, Priyanka Madam will take over. Thank you. Yes, good morning to all of you. Good morning, Sir. Uh, today we have the guest speaker, uh, Priyanka Tiwari, uh, to know about the Institutional Innovation Center. Uh, Kaley College, yes, Lilipa College already established this institutional innovation. Earlier it was cell and then it has become center. So as you know that India is now the country which is having the highest population in the world. 
earlier it is used to say that this population explosion will be the one of the drawback for the progress of the country but now the same challenge now we are converted into opportunity now we can say it is called as a human dividend because the maximum youngsters that average age of the india young population is very higher than any other developed countries or developing countries so in almost all the western countries even including asian countries the average pop, average age of the population will be is a more older than the india so now that human dividend young young population what we have in india but there is a one lagging a lacuna what you observed that almost all our students what we are following the education higher education gross enrollment ratio is about 27.1 but the government is thinking to increase to enhance it to 50 percentage why this higher education should be enhanced that is to maintain the progress of the society and also maintain all the uh, decorum of the society everybody should be educated when the people are especially anxious are they are go they go for higher education automatically that anti social behavior anti social elements anti social factors can be automatically reduced this is the main objective that mhr the ministry of human resource development it is one of the important the ministry of the government of india where they want to enroll the gross enrollment ratio should be enhanced so now the question comes to that everybody if they behind the government job it is very difficult and if they are thinking for only employability then also it is not a progressing factor important thing is that all the youngsters which are having the skills abilities and the soft skills they can easily start their own startup startup means any new ideas innovative ideas which are there that we have to give a, a, a complete opportunity or a platform by that we can enhance the employability so here the important aspect that is required for the youngsters is that that is innovation so the people are the person who think the things in a different way definitely get the progress nowadays you know that tv is we are getting that uh, that is a uh, shark tank the shark tank means there are the people are the people are there which having the large capitals now they are ready to invest into the the new ideas so that's why this is a great opportunity in every college in higher education institution that they are going to establish a center already the college is established number of activities we are uh, uh, conducted organized only that to you have to give the opportunity for the a new the spark in the mind spark in the mind means lot of opportunities are there but you have to observe them in a different view when you observe them in a different view definitely there is a chance to start our own companies say example nowadays uh, any small things are also becoming a big companies that's the only thing is that first of all we have to have the innovative mind confidence is required then automatically the people are ready to invest upon that even for that also we are already prepared there is a one company we are uh, having a moe that and now they are ready to invest also as a seed money they are ready to invest <coughs> thing is that you have to come up with a, a new concept or a innovative concept definitely the people are there to invest the amount or the seed money so that you can also become an employers instead of going to the employee we can also start the employee you can become employer so now in india there is a, a lot of scope is there try to understand that where there is the requirement is there where you can start your own ideas there is a software companies you can start your own app but thing is that where it is required the app not normal only business or commerce commercial or a financial app will not working so even you can just focus on the agriculture sector because the next probably 5 years to 10 years the india is going to face the challenges that is a potable water and the scarcity of the food so now we can concentrate how all these problems can be solved so that's why there is a lot of scope is there madam she is going to address upon that so we can come up with a new idea what i am here suggesting you that please come with a new idea any small idea and there are the people i'll bring to the college and they are ready to invest and you can start your own company even before completion of your graduation no graduation is required no post graduation is required only the new ideas are important so that's why chances are there balast company ready the way helta idara avaru enadru new concept tagon banni now invest martivi anta daivittu ellaru kuda eno vasadara vichara maadi we are all there to support you people
okay and now what are the different angles different views of this innovation uh, center in the colleges that will be explained by the uh, priyanka tiwari probably she will be more expert she will give the idea and we have started this kind of innovation center in our uh, hubli in pcj in science college about 7 years back in 2019 and some of our students they have created some innovative ideas they started the one magic stick for the blind people for that we have been awarded the college has been awarded from the uh, HI, that mhrd where that is mhrd minister he has felicitated and he has given the certificate to the college and now because of all this innovation that autonomous college of the kle society tc seven science college has got a plus plus nag accreditation and all these things are count into consideration for the progress of the college and progress of the stakeholders so lot of opportunities are there both boys and girls only thing is that we have to think things in a different way and always say that always then you don't stop the learning because the society never stops the teaching keep in your mind yavaglu kuda society samaja yavaglu teach martta irutte that's why there is no chance to stop the learning but learning should have the component that is innovation that will help your life that will turn your life mode and you can also become a, a big the employer or you can become a good entrepreneur so with this once again i wish you the this uh, the interactive workshop where tiwari madam is explaining any doubts you are having regarding that please interact with her and even that any ideas are there please give a proposal for that that proposal definitely that will be supported by the seed money okay you are already ready agidre ready madkondo chaya madam ge adanna torisibidre then we are there to support for any kind of the startup companies okay with this once again uh, i thank our iic Uh, chair madam to have this interactive workshop immediately within a one day we are all based because madam was available she was also she is also interested to address the young, young minds okay thank you thank you madam thank you
or academics, right? So for y'all, this is one of the uh, important aspects as well. Innovation cell, and you have to develop that innovation cell there also. Coming days. Okay, so any institution which has an incubation center or an idea center uh, can be uh, can open a IIC. This is the criteria which or which are the institutions or colleges which can have this IIC. So one is of course if they have any innovation cell or idea cell, they can of course uh, open a IIC. Anyone who is participating in area or NIRF rankings, okay, those institutes can uh, open this uh, IICs or establish the uh, IICs. NBA NAC accreditation, of course, nowadays each and every college in India they have to have this NBA NAC accreditation. So those uh, colleges which has uh, have this NBA NAC accreditation can also establish IIC. Uh, apart from that, any government, government aided, deemed university, any type of them can also establish this IIC. Further, there is no requirement and there is no restriction that only technical colleges have to have this IIC. Even the non-technical colleges can establish the IICs. Coming to the objectives and functions, so the major objective of the IIC or innovation cell is to encourage the students as well as faculty. Now this is not restricted only to the students, it is also for the faculties to come up with new ideas, new innovative ideas and then convert those innovative ideas into some startups. Okay. Uh, then to mentor the students and uh, mentor the faculties, uh, then um, conduct some uh, workshops, talks, guest talks, orientation programs, so to come up with new ideas, okay? Then uh, to uh, conduct few um, hackathons or ideathons, any idea about what is this hackathon or ideathon? No, okay, basically your Ministry of Education conducts this ideathon and hackathon every year, okay, in a period of six months or something like that, okay. Now what they do is, they'll, uh, in their portal, in their website, they'll uh, release a, a brochure really, uh, telling that there is one ideathon or a hackathon. We as an institute, okay, we'll have to register. If you have a very innovative idea, very good idea, you can go there on the website and you can register. And you, as a participant, you will tell your idea or pitch your idea in front of them. If they feel your idea is really very good and very innovative, they will surely uh, help you with grants and all. Plus, uh, you'll be recognized in the Ministry of Education as Sir said that uh, one of the examples, same thing will be done. That is Hackathon. Ideathon, of course, if you give idea, they will help you. First, they will uh, analyze your idea that how is it innovative because we have hundreds of ideas, right? Out of those hundreds of ideas, we have selected and we have pitched it in front of the ministry. Now, is that an innovative idea and will it be helpful for the uh, society? In that sense, they will analyze your ideas and accordingly, they will see if it uh, is required to fund the ideas or not. Function same. Uh, we have to conduct workshops, seminars, we have to conduct uh, activities like uh, idea thon, hackathons, okay. Uh, then mentoring the students, mentoring the faculties, uh, highlighting the uh, innovative projects. Now PG students, I hope everyone has the has to uh, take up a project, right? Those project only you can take as an innovative idea, right? Because it has never been done on, uh, you know, you are coming up with something new. The same thing you try to pitch in the Ministry of Education hackathon or ideathon and who knows if your idea they like, they will be ready to invest. Even if the ministry is not there, there are many other investors who will be coming in the same uh, program. If they like your idea, they will be ready to invest in your idea. Okay, now this IIC is basically divided into four themes or four categories. The first one is uh, design thinking okay and innovation now what is design thinking as the name says design thinking we have to design our thinking okay as in see we see a lot many things around us every day right and uh, because of those lot many things we have hundreds and hundreds of ideas and thoughts which uh, goes in our mind yes or no okay how would you know that out of hundreds of ideas there is one innovative idea right there will be passing thoughts so, for example, you saw something and you'll be like, why is it like this? It should be not like this, right? You'll be having some ideas like, if it was like this, it would have been better, right? Why is it not like this? I should have used it like this, right? We have this idea of going every now and then whenever we saw anything around us, right? So, who knows, out of those many thoughts, there is one idea which is an innovative idea. So, design thinking helps us to define out of those hundreds of ideas, which is that innovative idea. 
and it will help you to design your thinking to think in a proper manner or think in a way that will actually lead you to a innovative idea okay the second category is ipr technology now say for example you came up with very innovative idea it's very unique okay do you want it to be stolen by someone else or someone uh, take your idea as their idea and they represent as their idea anyone who would like to do that no no <coughs> correct none of us if we have anything which is very creative very innovative we do not like it to be shared or someone else should copy it right same thing is ipr technology transfer this is a particular uh, uh, what you can say uh, it helps the owner or the innovator to preserve their idea okay and not it does not give the right to the other person to copy it or present it as their idea without my permission you all have heard about copyright yes yeah where you all have heard about copyright <laughs> industries film industries music right movies yeah so copyright is basically in the part of arts when it comes to <coughs> arts because they want to protect their song or films or whatever idea right same thing if it comes to technology it is called as patent or ipr understood next is pre incubation or incubation management any uh, you all have heard about incubation or incubators yes ma'am where we need to support to this okay correct just like how uh, you all know this premature babies are there right they have been kept in incubators right why why they are kept in incubators because we have to preserve them okay we have to uh, make sure that they are not uh, you know the health is not uh, affected secondly we want them to develop in a normal way because they are premature right they will be born before 9 months so we want them to grow in a proper manner without affecting them similarly if you have a idea which where you incubate your idea your idea is converted into the product you will not release into the market do you directly okay today i thought i will make this type of bag tomorrow shall i release the bag in the market no it takes time right so you have to incubate your idea into a incubation cell you have to make it grow because there will be number of failures right do you think that in one day or one month uh, you'll be able to design a very good product no there will be months and months to make a product into best product okay how you have to you have to develop it into such a way that it will be able to stand in the market and it will be able to compete with other products which are there in the market and the last one of course entrepreneurship once you feel your uh, product okay whatever you have designed out of your idea is developed now okay what you need to do is you need to allow it to enter into the market you cannot release it as such once you feel that now it is ready now it is developed and it is uh, it can compete with the other products which are already there in the market you release the product in the market and that is what is called as startup or entrepreneurship now iic portal we have this ministry of education if you google out ministry of education innovation cell there will be the first link you click and you will get the main page of the ministry of education innovation cell and that one corner is there iic now that iic portal will give you as you can see on this particular uh, screen this iic portal first has login and iic account say for example your college is there your college is already established on uh, uh, ministry of education they'll be having one login id and password so what they can do is they can login and they can i mean they can put uh, this id and password and they can login now what they have to do whatever activities they are conducting say for example today also they are having one uh, workshop right this orientation program they need to have the photos they they need to document it and they have to upload it that we come uh, we conducted some activity okay then uh, uploading and then verification the ministry of education they will be having one person who will be monitoring all this thing so you'll be seeing is the person conducting uh, activity is genuine is is he conducting in the correct manner or not okay so they'll be doing verification accordingly they'll be scoring your iic your college iic will be scored accordingly uh, similarly you can have certain new say for example your college iic is there my college iic is conducting one talk okay so i'll be uh, giving one brochure on that iic portal the same thing will be visible on your iic account as well okay so you don't need to search oh my god where is this iic activity is being conducted on the same portal on the same website everything will be available which colleges are conducting what okay and accordingly you will also get idea okay this people are conducting this type of idea that means even i can conduct this ideas uh, this activities okay 
uh, any kind of announcements or uh, like for example now ideathon the final uh, stage is going on uh, one hackathon uh, final stage uh, competition is there the final results are about to come so that will be announced i think by end of this month so that announcement brochure they have already placed in the iic account okay so it will be updated every now and then yeah so this is how the ministry of education website looks like this is the ministry of education innovation cell as you can see on top right and uh, this is the section of hackathon okay uh, wherein you have number of activities or number of competitions wherein you can participate and you can pitch your idea you just pitch your idea who knows if they like actually any idea okay and they'll be ready to invest actually there are many investors who just want one idea one good idea and they are ready to invest in your ideas then if you see uh, at the left side the third one innovation council is there right this innovation council here is where you click and then you go to the institution innovation council so it will lead to your uh, main page your account okay and then you uh, put id and password and you can log in yeah so if you click on one of this uh, smart india hackathon or whatever this is how the page appears and you scroll down and there will be one uh, login or registration link okay you registration uh, i mean you click on the registration link you put all the details of your uh, college or your idea and then it will be taken further to the ministry and if they find of course uh, that your idea is really very good they you will be uh, intimated the same okay now we have something called as clinic now we can't expect each and every student to be so much extrovert to come up with ideas and you know who is ready to come in front of everyone that yeah i have idea do you think no there will be some students who are little shy introvert right what about those people they do have very good ideas but they are not able to come up with the ideas so for, for them we conduct something called as clinic that is one to one one to one interaction with the student say for example i am very introvert i am not uh, what you can say uh, openly tell to my friends and if excuse me everyone that i am having one idea what i can do is i can go to any uh, innovation ambassador and no uh, any member of this innovation cell and one to one i can interact that ma'am i have a idea on this uh, could you please uh, take your time and listen to my idea i don't know whether it is good or bad it might be bad also okay but uh, if we work on the same idea there is possibility we can convert our bad idea into a good idea that is called as clinic that is one to one interaction okay wherein the student will be one to one interacted and mentored so basically the challenges which we face in this iic is first is registration of course after registration we have to make a startup policy now each uh, now uh, national in, uh, national uh, policy is already there for startup and uh, innovation that is called as nisp national innovation and startup policy which has been given by government of india accordingly you can just uh, go through it and uh, there will be uh, certain sort of information wherein they help you to understand what are the policies of innovations and entrepreneurship which our government is giving to us okay uh accordingly we uh, each of the state in india they have their own policies like maharashtra have their own uh, uh, startup and innovation policy karnataka state have their own innovation and startup policy and accordingly you can just go through it that what are the policies how can they help us with our idea they just want us to come up with idea rest part is up to them then um, yes planning and incubator and developing incubator that is the small cell or you can say a room where you want to develop your idea into a product okay um of course financial assistance is one of the thing okay but you have to be just you just uh, release your ideas and pitch it to some investors or the ministry they are ready to fund and if not if they don't fund one thing one good thing is they'll be having certain innovators and certain successful uh, entrepreneurs who are ready to give you idea that why don't you mock out they are ready to invest it's not like they will either pay you or they will not pay you they might give you idea that you try in this way also and just let us know if it works we'll go with this one okay so this is a establishment certificate of uh, our college that is kerala college of pharmacy whence we had registered now uh, coming to the members so basically the members are divided into three sections one is uh, the faculty members second section is of the students and the third section represents the actual innovators and actual uh, uh, what you can say entrepreneurs 
faculty members who are of course interested in innovation and startups and all they'll be one of the part students who are either interested in innovation there'll be some students who will be really interested in startups and there'll be certain students who are uh, interested in both innovations and inventions and startups so they can be a part of this iic third part now suppose we have idea okay and you all come to one of the faculty or one of the iic member and you pitched your idea both of you all agreed yeah this is very good idea but you are not sure where to start what to start right so what you can do you can go to the third party third party is nothing but the uh, innovation coordinators innovation uh, successful innovators or uh, uh, this entrepreneurs which are a part of your iic so without any hesitation you can approach to them and they'll be always ready because they have signed it like they are uh, with their will willingness they have become a member of your iic so they cannot say no they might delay but they will always be there to help you out that okay this is your idea okay let me tell you how much innovative it is what stage of innovation it is okay or say for example you are ready with your innovation and everything how to go for startup so you go to that uh, startup person the entrepreneur he will tell you the pros and cons and he will tell you you do first this thing you go to this investor he'll make you go to that person okay and he'll arrange everything for you um yes so for example uh, you are stuck somewhere seriously you are stuck somewhere and even the uh, participants or the members of iic are also not able to help you the main thing what we go is uh, we have this on our innovation uh, self website only the southwest region that is karnataka mr abhishek ranjit kumar is there he is the main head of uh, for karnataka region and southwest region for any purpose for anything regarding from innovation from startup uh, to seed money funding uh, to conducting activities uploading activities on the website everything a to z you go to this person and he'll be uh, helping you out with the same okay you're stuck you have the idea but you're stuck somewhere okay and no one is uh, you know um, uh, like they don't have very particular or uh, what you can say um, a very dominant idea to give of education for the southwest region coming to basically it's a 5000 to 10000 square feet area of uh, room should be there where you actually and of course electricity should be always available all the softwares or uh, what you can say the pc system and all this all things should be always available in that region okay and uh, you can have your meetings okay like say for example i had a idea which i discussed with other two friends of mine and i wanted them also to include in my idea now we went to one third uh, uh, what you can say uh, one of the iic member she is favorite uh, teacher of mine okay so i went and i spoke to her she is like okay we will discuss this so she will call principal also because he is the head of the department right so we all should have a meeting where this idea should not leak somewhere else right so this is the place where best place wherein we can actually grow our idea and discuss about the idea so apart from that defining the budget okay uh, running the uh, incubator and everything has been discussed over here okay now every year we have this iic they release one calendar okay calendar of events like we have for colleges right that this time this time will have this activities this uh, time will be conducted sports day cultural events right exams first sessional second sessional right similarly our iic has also released this dates calendar of events okay and they have basically uh, two semesters under two semesters they have further two uh, quarters so there are four quarters so they have also mentioned that what are the type of activities they want us to do they have given a idea say for example i know i want to do some activity but i don't have idea what activities to be done so that also they have given example that these are the types of ideas now under each of the quarter there is minimum requirement of 3 3 three activities under each quarter has to be done okay then there are celebration activities also like there will be days like uh, uh, your pol uh, pollution day population day youth day startup day science day so on those days also you can conduct some or the other activities but you have to conduct activities in such a way that the students or the faculty should come up with new ideas now the rating and the scoring system now we are doing uh, this all uh, innovation and activities and everything uh will we do anything without any reward no at least i won't do if i come to know yeah they are giving some points or some reward is there then only i'll be ready to do it right so 
uh, for every year they release the scoring system also that how this weightage or uh, this thing is been given accordingly your college iic will be ranked okay so say for example here they have given 10% weightage has been given for celebration day activities what activate uh, activities you all are conducting on celebration day say the youth day science day pollution day population day environment day okay 20% weightage has been given to MIC driven activity. That is the same calendar which I uh, showed you in the previous slide, right? Accordingly, how many activities out of those many activities, how many you have done in your institute? Then 30% is given to self driven activities. Okay, they have told whatever activities. Apart from that, from yourself, what you are doing, okay, what activities you are conducting at your institute is called as, uh, when they're given as 30% weightage and 40 percent weightage accordingly uh, the calendar driven activities that is the same mic um, uh, calendar of events now basically what are the programs this iic institutes uh, or the uh, main ministry of uh, education iic gives there's one program called as innovation ambassador program now this is basically only for faculties not for students uh, when they actually train or mentor the mentors this is called as mentoring the mentors that is we make them as if I had gone through this innovation ambassador program. I was being selected by my uh, previous college principal and he told me to undergo this program. It's a training program. Okay. It's a one month training program wherein they train you. They mentor you how to mentor your students and how to conduct this IIC activities. What is the importance? Everything. Okay. And how this innovation and uh, everything is to be done. Innovative ideas. How to generate this uh, term of innovation in the students and the faculties. I was trained to train the others. Impact lectures, same guest talks, workshops, conferences, innovation constant, uh, contest uh, like uh, as I told hackathons, ideathons, those are innovation contests. Mentor, mentor mentee program, mentor mentee program as in I told clinic right, one to one interaction with the students. If you have any idea come to me, okay we'll discuss, we'll sit privately and we'll discuss what ideas do you have. Yukti National Innovation Repository. This is very important. Now I told you, you give your ideas, right? This is one place where you just give your idea. You go for registration and you pitch your idea. They will, uh, something or the other, they will definitely, there will be a positive feedback. Either they will be ready to, uh, uh, what you say, uh, give a seed funding or they will be ready to tell you that what are the, um, uh, what you can say, drawbacks in your idea. They will also identify that. This is one of the major advantage of Yukti is they will also tell you what are the drawbacks in your idea so that you can modify and you can come up with one new idea. Okay. Yeah. So this is how the IIC registration, I mean the, uh, after you do your registration of IIC on uh, Ministry of Education portal. So this is how the institute, uh, uh, what you can say, you can log in. This is your MIC, uh, the first page I had shown on the first slide. MIC portal you go, then you go to IIC uh, portal and then of course uh, click on this and not robot, login and it will lead to you the page wherein only your activities will be shown. How much you have done, what you have done, okay. Uh, they will be also giving you the grading system, everything will be shown there. So since your college has already done registration, we will just skip this part. Yeah, so this is after you log in, this is how the page will appear. Okay, you have my profile. Under my profile, this is the certificate. Say, for example, you have established your IIC with ministry. See, many of the colleges are there who have the innovation cell, but they have not established it with, uh, with ministry of education. So, those people don't know uh, basically about the ministry of education innovation cell, and that's why. So those people who have the innovation cell and they have established on the Ministry of Education, they will be getting a certificate. Further, if they participate in uh, Ideathon, Hackathon and all those things, and if they get a very good recognition, the same certificates you can download directly from your portal. And this is how it looks like. See, this is how it shows that how many activities we have done till now. Okay. And this is uh, the, again, uh, that sections that MIC driven how many I have done uh, okay calendar activities how many I have done celebration activities how, how, uh, how many I have done so accordingly it is being shown in the same page okay and it will tell you or uh, you will be able to keep a track that whether my activities are going good or bad. 
so apart from this how do we uh, uh, apart from this um, uh, what you can say website how do we come to know what are the other activities other colleges and other institutes are conducting so for uh, this we have one uh, as you can see the qr code right so uh, the president of iic that is the head of the institute okay and the convener one convener would be selected as member in the iic those both can actually uh, just uh, scan this QR code and they'll be allowed to enter in that WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, every information that which college is conducting, what activity, which type of activity, when uh, when it is conducted, whether students can participate, whether faculties can participate, what is the time limit, what are the prizes, everything will be told on that WhatsApp group. Okay. Now coming to something which is related for us. What is creativity? Unique. Unique, very good. Anything else? What is innovation? Inventing new which is not available. Very good. So basically creativity is thinking in a new way. New thinking. That is called creativity. Okay, that's why we say, okay, it didn't came in my mind, is very creative because he has a new thinking. Okay. What do we mean by innovation? Doing that new thing. Whichever new idea he got, doing that new thing is called as innovation. And when both of these things are done together, what you come up with is a product which can be allowed to come into the market. You have a creative idea? Yes. Now what you did, you converted it into, uh, it into a product, okay, which could be useful for the society. Now that useful product, if you release into the market, that will be your entrepreneurship. Right? So this all things are correlated to each other. Okay. Now how do we actually define or come up with certain new ideas? There are three aspects. One is of course uh, the major aspect I would say is uh, looking at the problems around us. Okay. How did he came up with that innovative idea? And actually he made a product, he made a pad which is available in one or two rupees. Right? And he started selling because uh, it was like he started seeing the problems around him, okay? So any person can come up with new idea or innovative idea only when he is ready to accept the uh, problems around uh, around him or surrounding, okay? Like we all will be having, seeing uh, problems every now and then around us, but we will just neglect, uh, this is not my problem, no, why should I think on it? But a real innovator or an entrepreneur will always look at the uh, problems as an opportunity. Okay, they can't uh, be stable-minded. If they see any problem, they want to solve it. Okay, they want to do something for the society. So what they do is they look into the problem. Okay, and then they analyze the problem, and that is how when their mind starts, you know, creating new ideas. That why don't we do something like this? Okay, to overcome this problem, why don't we? And if you see, mostly this type of creative ideas will come from the uh, rural areas, village areas. Yes or no? Because of the uh, number, uh, rural uh, areas. Okay, because they have number of problems. We also have number of problems, but we don't bother about those problems. So we have something called as viability, desirability, and feasibility. Out of say, for example, you have the idea with you. You are like, no, I want to do something for these people. They are having very uh, big issue. Okay, how do I overcome? And you came up with one idea. Then how to know whether that idea is actually an innovative idea or not? So there are three things: viability, desirability, and feasibility. Viability in the sense ability to work and survive. Your idea should be able to work. What can you all see in the background? Some ladies are there, right? They are carrying some vessels. What is uh, there in the vessel? Water. Water, right? What is the problem here? What problem you can encounter? Water supply. Water supply. There is no water supply. Right? They have to walk miles and miles for what? Just to water. get some water, right? Now this is a problem. How we, how we have to look at this, okay, is our uh, perspective. Each one has different perspective. And each person will have different type of idea to overcome or help these ladies to overcome this problem, okay? So say for example, you have an idea, okay? And um, say for example, you wanted to, um, what you can say, a hand pump. You want to build a hand pump at the, their own uh, region, okay? So they don't have to walk so many miles. But say for example, uh, that hand pump is only not working. Is there any useful uh, usefulness of your idea? No. You have the idea that will build a hand pump, right? But that hand pump is only not working, 
right so your idea should be able to work and should be able to survive secondly desirability should be able to feel good your idea should make the person who is suffering from the problem should be able to uh, you know feel good about after uh, say for example i gave you one idea and after getting that idea and applying it on my problem i should feel good it should not be like oh my god from where this idea this man has given right it should it should help me to overcome my problem say for example the same ladies if i tell them okay you are having this problem uh, okay so you take one bus from here go to that region from there you will get one auto rickshaw you go to that region again one bus that region and this like that i will tell them will they go like that who will spend so much of time in changing buses and this and that it is better go by uh, barefoot only right so this is called as the ability to feel good your idea should make the person feel good about it third one feasibility ability to conveniently done same thing say for example again i tell her to change rickshaw then auto then this and that will she be able to do that no she will not do because it is not conveniently done instead she will uh, think like who will waste our time in uh, you know changing buses and vehicles let me go by walk only right so your idea if your idea is having all these three that is uh, viability desirability and feasibility okay that is uh, to uh, able to work able to survive okay ability to feel good and conveniently done if your idea is actually uh, you know uh, acceptable in all these three criteria you can say that yes your idea is a innovative idea that's the, uh, that that's the point when you feel yeah, your your uh, idea is actually a innovative idea out of this three if one um, criteria is also not fulfilled we cannot say that your idea is a innovative idea okay so how do we actually uh, uh, create this idea in our mind okay or how do we actually uh, come to know that yeah it is uh, conveniently done it is uh, feeling good the thing is here always the go to this ladies say for example the same problem i'm taking on your own you need to go and hear first from their perspective right what problem this ladies are facing so you go you speak to the ladies or whatever uh, who is having the problem okay you go to the persons who are actually suffering from the problem and ask from their perspective and ask from them that what type of uh, help they want okay don't think what help you want to do first listen what type of help they want say for example they just want that uh, uh, it should be done nearby only we don't have to walk miles okay something like that so you have to hear their problems from their perspective first you have to be empathetic you have to keep yourself in that situation i don't know how many of you all have seen that movie swadesh in that dasa okay first he doesn't like this uh, indian culture and all Uh, just for the sake of his grandma he'll come to the village okay he'll stay for some days he looks around uh, there are number and numbers of problem okay which makes him feel uncomfortable that is uh, what is the what you can say um one of the um, skills of innovators okay they get very uncomfortable if they see problems around them and that is the what you can say Uh, the area uh, or the that part of the movie where in uh, twist and turns has been taken place right when he realizes that actually the need my help right this is the place where i have to be this is the people who are actually suffering from the problem and i have to help them out right <coughs> so you, you have to first hear their problems empathize their problems understand from their perspective next is create once you understand their problem then you have so many of ideas then you create your idea into a product which would help them to overcome their problem okay then after creating what we do is uh, we actually test our prototype prototype in the sense the demo kind of product okay it's not a complete product which we can release into the market we have called as prototype now uh, i don't know yeah uh, some of y'all who would have seen this movie padman if you see first is uh, he also encounters the problem first where is the problem he sees around in his home only that uh, the ladies at his home that is his sisters and his uh, wife okay they are using that dirty cloth for uh, menstrual during menstrual cycle okay and he feels that this will lead to a major problem later on it will affect their health right he now encounters the problem this again makes him feel uncomfortable okay then what he starts doing he develop a pad right he started developing a sanitary pad and what did he do that sanitary pad first he gave to his wife right to use it and tell me now that is called as prototype okay it's not ready to come in market but it is a product 
and then whom do you give this prototype someone whom you know whom you trust okay who can tell you exact positive and negative feedback okay because it is very uh, necessary to take the feedback say for example ha huh, in the same movie then she comes the next day and she says it is very worst pa pad i have used ever because it is not able to uh, you know help me out okay i got the staining i had to use the same cloth so again what he did again he uh, did some innovation and he came with second product again that also failed third failed right so you have to keep on taking the feedback every now and then positive or negative <laughs> if you go to the coffee shops starbucks and uh, all those places they will ask you to give a feedback on their website right or on the insta yes or no because there is always a scope of invention innovation and they also do innovation innovation in the sense of what uh, customer service okay what good they can do to make their customers feel good about it okay um yeah so you keep on testing you give uh, the product or prototype to someone you actually trust and who can actually give you the gen genuine feedback you take the feedback work on your idea again and then again uh, develop your prototype okay and then you keep on testing and then you finally get one product okay now once you feel you have got the final product and it is ready to enter into the market then what you do is deliver deliver in the sense you deliver it into the market okay entrepreneurship is the ability uh, and readiness to develop organize and run a business uh, enterprise a person who is uh, ready to develop first he has to develop then organize organize in the sense whoever members are there in his team okay he has to tell okay this work has been assigned to you this work uh, this work has been assigned to you this part will be handled by you that is called as organizing and then run the business so a person who is doing this will be called as entrepreneur and the process is called as entrepreneurship what is this roller coaster ride So it is said that entrepreneurship is a roller coaster ride. Why we uh, say so? There will be always ups and downs. So whenever you enter this field, you have to be ready for both ups and downs. What is a product? A substance which is uh, useful for the society. Cell phone useful for the society, right? Cooking stuff uh, useful for the society. Mic useful for the society, right? Anything which is useful and be used by the society is a product. What is design? the overall look and the functions that product is going to give me is called as design now there is something called as aspects of design when you design your product say for example you came up with certain idea okay and it is very good everyone said yeah it is very good and everything now what will you do next you have to design it into a prototype right into a product once you design your product how do you know that what are the uh, how could you tell that yeah now the product is ready to come into the market so you have to look at this aspects one is called as form form in the sense what form or shape you have given to your product say for example cell phone okay i thought that it should be rectangular why not circular because it will be uh, not uh, what you can say uh, feeling good to able to you know uh, hold it in the hand right then um, nowadays that flip flop uh, cell phones are coming right easily close and open and uh, can easily be uh, kept in my uh, pockets right instead of using that tab and long uh, cell phones right so that is called as form second is function what function now you you go to